Now at five, we're just two days away from Christmas, and shoppers are out in full force buying last minute gifts. But are the sales worth the crowds? Good evening. I'm Brian Hackett. And I'm Juliet Goodrich. Let's get right to KPIX 5's Katie Nielsen live at San Francisco's Union Square. And Katie, what is it like there now? So it was raining just a few minutes ago, but that has not kept any of the shoppers away. Now, right back here, this is the Union Square Christmas tree. Right beneath that, that is the ice skating rink. And if you look over here to the right-hand side, you can see all of the traffic, all the people in the crosswalk. They're coming here not just to fill their shopping bags, but also their hearts full of holiday spirit. From a tuba playing Santa to a sunglass wearing dog named Monster. He just is a, he likes to share his holiday spirit with everyone and everybody likes to take selfies with him. It's all part of the experience visiting Union Square a couple days before Christmas to finish up that last minute shopping. I got most of it done, but this like the finishing touches, so uh, I guess it's the typical American shopper. Last minute to everything. But for others, there's more strategy involved. I know there's really good sales down here. It's beautiful, even though the crowds are crazy. It's kind of part of the whole thing. I want an LL doll. And some shoppers are just hoping to get lucky. The girls are really into LL dolls. <laughs> so the LL dolls, dolls uh, that's just what we are looking for. <laughs> uh, no, not yet. <laughs> But the never-ending traffic and crowded sidewalks can be tiring, especially for Santa's littlest helpers. It's a beautiful sight to see people out and about and being with families. I saw a lot of kids walking around. It's, it's nice. It's crazy, but, you know, this is still our city and we still love going down here for the holidays. The National Retail Federation estimates more than half, about 56% of people who are shopping for Christmas are actually going to be out this weekend shopping. So San Francisco police say they have extra officers on patrol. They're also warning people the number one crime in this area that they're seeing right now, not surprising, car break-ins. They're telling people be very careful when you put those shopping bags back into the car. Make sure they go in the trunk or somewhere else where people just can't see them. Live in San Francisco, Katie Nielsen, KPIX5. All right, Katie, the LOL doll. Got it now. All right. Thank you so much. And as